start recording and we are now live or I'm just about to get us live and kind of go from there. So uh, today we are dialing live with Nick Moretti. Um, Nick, I know last call we had, there was that seller that was thinking about a future retirement and you had suggested going over there and perhaps taking a look at their home, that sort of thing. How did that, how did that end up? Were you able to get her back on the phone when you did follow up or? So I followed up. I followed mm -hmm. up. She didn't answer my call, called her twice, but she did reach out to me. Um, but she is going to reach out to me. She's just, the way that I built that relationship, like uh, usually sometimes they might not do that because, you know, like I'm kind of springing a lot on that phone call. Right. So yeah. they usually take a second, but they, uh, if they don't answer my calls, like I, I have like my campaigns that run. Right. So I just. I make sure that I I'm following up in some way. So I don't let it go. If I would have let it go, they probably would have never re reached back out to me. Do you know what I mean? No, absolutely. Yeah, no, we're, we're never going to let it go. We got to follow up. The follow up is in the key. 100% is, is like the key to any success in here. hundred percent for, for anyone that's doing it. You, you know, you can have good conversations on the first go where you're going to gain their trust and, and continue that traction is continuously following up with them. Uh, totally. regardless of what that timeline looks like if they're three months six months 12 months down the road again it's just keeping ourselves top of mind and uh, working towards that uh, competition that's out there 100%. so um inadvertently we were any of you guys all on that webinar yesterday that Addo had that was portraying to the google uh information that's out there like all the stats and and Buyer activity and all that fun stuff. Raise your hands, anyone on there? No, no one was on there. <laughs> so one of the things, oh, Sonia was on there. Perfect. Uh, so one of the things that uh, Google had had mentioned, of course, is that buyers. They're obviously the leads that we're getting. They are, you know, usually longer term nurtures, right? So they're longer term. They're they're just starting that preliminary search for most of them. Some of them have been looking at listings for a while, but many are just kind of seeing what's out there. So Google has recognized that your branded advertisements and like tag marketing. Uh, anything that has to reinforce you and your brand is super important to ultimately gain the conversion overall, because there is so much competition that's going out there. It's one of the things that you could do to stand apart from your leads or from the other competitors that are out there. And so we won't do it today, but perhaps more on a leveraging is editing those listing emails that go out for you guys. So putting, if you guys have banners, um, you can, so when you have the lead gen system, those emails, you can actually customize. You can have your custom banner, custom footer on there. So it is like sandwiched with your brand. So every time they're opening that listing, they are, they're seeing your face or seeing your information. They're putting the two to two together. You guys can also do, um, you would have to talk to your sales reps, of course, uh, but putting, uh, adding tag marketing, that remarketing in. So when somebody comes to your lead gen site, there's your brand is following them for 90 days on that internet. Again, reinforcing that, bringing them back in. Um, so that was something that's useful. If you guys missed that webinar, go to our YouTube channel. So just go into agent or onto YouTube and search for agent locator. It will be on there. So anytime we do any kind of webinar, whether it's uh, dialing with Nick or Beverly or any webinar we do, we always post it on that YouTube channel. So if you guys ever miss it, expect that it's there typically within 24 hours after the, the live event. So just thought I would throw that out there for all of you. Um, yes, yeah, so Zan, uh, yes, that, that as I was kind of mentioned, Zan was asking probably as I was already saying that that session was recorded. So just go onto Google you sh or onto YouTube, you should be able to find it on there nonetheless and uh i'm just gonna pull by, the by the way um a win is because we were talking earlier for people that didn't come in uh you were asking like about that lead and any other wins that i've had mm -hmm. um from agent locator uh so what i've actually been doing now is i've actually been signing people from agent locator on a bra before i even go see the first property with them okay so i think i think as real estate agents it's really important to hold 
hold that professionalism and not like, you know, cave in when they're saying no, like some people are different. I get it. But you know, you always want to have that. And, and, you know, you don't want to have the fear where you're showing someone houses for a good week or two and then they go cold and, you know, then you're like, man, I should have got them down on something, you know, yeah. we've all been there. Oh, absolutely. And it's, it's, it's also uncomfortable territory for a lot of people um, asking for that, right? Because it's, it's probably likely in the terms of where the buyer is agreeing to your commission level and then, you know, explaining that to them. I think that's where a lot of people get hung up on I'll, is that I'll they're going to be obligated to pay that, that commission if no. the seller isn't offering it. Right. So I yeah, think that's probably where a lot of people totally. get hung up for sure. So, but. I don't know how most agents are, but I mean, like, you know, if people need help with that, I can definitely help you. But really and truly, that's a, I've never had issues like that okay. in my six years of selling full-time real estate. Never. No, all, you know, all I just say is, Hey, listen, you know, this is what it is when you go through the buyer rep agreement. I don't know if some people want to even send the plain English ones that mm -hmm. Trev has available to send ahead. So if you want to do it that way, great. Um, Cause I've done that with some people because uh, some people are, you know, very analytical, right? They want to see everything. Um, but I just say, this is what is 2.5% commission plus HST. Remember in Ontario, you don't have to pay me, the seller pays that, but you get my professionalism, my experience and my guidance all for free. Yeah. That's all you got to say, done. There you go. And like, if someone goes to two and a half percent on a listing, like, I mean, it's up to that agent ethically if they want to do that or not. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, it yeah. is what it is. You get a happy client, just get another referral and you get that. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, there's definitely different tactics you've heard. And some people are just super smooth at their, you know, on the their that agreement. Yeah, they're they're just the, the way that they describe it. And it's I'm sure there's tons of webinars or topics on there uh, with respect to that. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are on Clubhouse, but I've only listened it's in on a few really things. Good. But there's there's definitely some key topics in there where it's you know realtors from really all over North North America and probably beyond uh, where there it's actually open discussion. So it's like a, it's like a podcast essentially, but you can actually participate in it if you if you it's request really cool. to as a user. Um, so there's always different pod like events and topics that are being discussed in and around real estate. And uh, so I do, if you guys have it, or if you know anyone that does have it, because it is unfortunately by invite only right now to get into Clubhouse. Um, so if you, you know, just put your feelers out on, on, your, on your platforms for somebody that may have an invite that they can invite you to it, because you, you may find that beneficial for sure. It's super good because they have like scripting class. So I've been doing that when it was first popular coming out and I still go on there time to time. Really good if you guys want to get good at stuff. Good. Perfect. So should we start dialing there, Nick? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah. Is, is, uh, Kat, so uh, is Kathy, am I calling her or am I just calling me? Sorry? Uh, sorry, I'm just calling my leads, correct? That's correct. Yes. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that my is apologies. correct. I'm just going to blur this, get this started and go from there. Blur all. Does it usually take a little bit to load? It shouldn't. It oh, should perfect. just kind of okay. go. All right. Let's share screen here. Share computer sound so you guys can hear everything. Should be good. Sorry, I'm just catching up on who I need to call. I know Crystal hates me because I do it this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so Nick sorry. Nick can call and talk to Lees. Nick just can't organize them. <laughs> I'm, I'm brutal, man. Uh, sorry, I'm just catching up on this quick person. No worries. And then call through here.
Your call has been forwarded to a voicemail service that has not been initialized by the customer you are calling. The customer you are calling is not available at this time. When you reach the customer at a later date, please remind the customer to access their voicemail and initialize their mailbox. Thank you. Okay. So I can't really do anything on that one there. No. Sorry, in another screen, because I have two screens here, I'm doing the notes, because I think last time some people didn't think I was doing notes. Um, this number is obviously, this number is obviously not real. I'll come back to that. Hi, you've reached Michelle McPherson. Sorry I'm unable to take your call at the moment, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a nice day. After leaving a message, you can hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, Michelle. Hope you're doing well. It's Nick Moretti calling. I just actually want to reach out to thank you so much for coming on to my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just want to make sure you had a great user experience and you found what you were looking for. My number is 416-559-5301. Feel free to call or text me when you're available. Um, there's a lot of uh, inventory on the proper, on the market right now. So uh, give me a shout when you can. I'll send you that new list of homes that you're looking for. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. I mean, I just go with whatever on the voicemails because like, I find that um, they call you back. So sometimes my voicemails are not the greatest, but... <laughs> You know, if you don't take the shot, you never know what happens, right? So, no, absolutely. Now, is there a delay on our end? Because it always seems like you jump to leave a message before the beep actually happens. There, I, I guess so. I'm not, I'm not saying delay. anything. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so, not. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we hear the like, we hear the beep, but you already start talking. So, it's there's definitely know, a delay. Anything. Yeah. There's yeah. definitely a delay. Delia, Delia, is that how you would say? Uh, Dila. Okay. Or is there an I in there? Delia. 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 <laughs> this is how you reveal that you either know or don't know the person. The customer you are calling is unavailable at the moment. Please try again later. The customer you are calling is Sorry, unavailable the at the moment. Okay. I'm going to just use your filter here. I think it's number two, right? Need a contact? That would be the ones that you've already tried to call. But tried. Yeah, okay, perfect. Because yeah. I have lots in here. You'll have to go back to the homepage first to, to get to oh, that. Oh, sorry. Roughly, yeah, because it's just kind of... So it's like this. Is this yeah. what it is? Yeah. Now the date created are your new leads. So what you're going to want to do is remember that drop down on the left where it says date created. Mm, yeah. No. No. Okay. Just joke. <laughs> so I don't really know where you want to just hook me up here. Where? So, okay. Move your cursor right kind of where you're, where it was right where the number 10 is, how many leads you're showing per page. Okay. Okay, now move to the left and then left okay. one time. Okay, okay. Now last contact call. Okay. And then we're gonna show most recent first. There we go. I called Sam Ring yesterday. Okay, thank you, Crystal. 
we call a uh, product of a, a, I can't even speak, productive I am. All right. One second. So Samarine, this girl wanted to actually go see a house before. So I'll follow her now. I called her yesterday, she didn't answer. Sorry? I called her yesterday, she didn't answer. Oh, okay. Definitely a delay. I can hear it in the background. Okay. You have reached mailbox number 6475091632. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Sam Rain. Hope you're doing well. It's Nick Moretti calling. I just wanted to touch base just because I know that you reached out to go see a property. Um, you know, if you're interested still, please reach out to me via call, text, or email. I'd be happy to help you out and get that appointment started. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. I didn't leave my phone number on that, but she has my contact info. Now, if anyone has any questions while he's dialing about anything, about dialing, talking, Let what to say, how to handle, just put them in the chat or the Q&A. Courtney. Sorry, I have to check just before I call sometimes so I know my script, just to know what I need to say. Perfect. You have reached Tyler Mill. Please leave your message after the tone. After leaving a message, you can hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, this message is for Courtney. Um, it's Nick Moretti calling. I just want to thank you for coming onto my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just want to make sure you're able to find what you were looking for. Uh, my number is 416-559-5301. I'd be happy to send you homes that you do want to see. Um, take care and have a great day. I mean, who knows if that's the right person, but. Yeah. So you still leave a message for the people where it's clearly not the same name on the voicemail. It, but it might be like. The well, it could be name. a spouse. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I've had a few of that happen. So here's what it is. What are they going to say? No. Okay. No, I understand. You know, like. I've been used okay. to put my information everywhere. So. <laughs> yeah. And, and some of them do that. Me? <laughs> Some of them yeah. do that. Yeah. So now on leads where you've already previously left a voicemail, are you leaving multiple voicemails? Um, like, like this lead, for example, number? you'd already called and you left a voicemail. So you leave a voicemail every time. Hey, is Joe available? Huh? Hey, is, is this Joe? Hey, hey Joe, how you doing? Yes, um, it's actually Nick Moretti calling. I just actually want to reach out to you to thank you so much for coming onto my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just want to, yeah, man, I just want to make sure you had a great user oh, experience. Okay. Were you able to find the homes that you were looking for? Uh, not, not yet, actually. I've got 10 more showings on, uh, on okay, Saturday. Okay, no problem. Are you going to be using that agent to buy out here? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. My wife's cousin. I don't know, man. You know what? The whole pick ring Ajax thing is turning to a shit show now, the prices. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so so I sold my house already, so I kind of yeah, screwed. No so worries. I have to well, buy congrats myself. on selling, though, you know? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, but you are going to use your cousin, you were saying, no? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. I have to, yeah. yeah. She's I on know. it already, so I got to use it. I, she's, doing, she's doing it for uh, almost for free anyway. Cool. It's my wife's cool. cousin. No worries, man. You know, well, Joe, crazy. if you need anything, feel free to keep using my website, um, you know, for what you need to do because other websites are going to make you put their info in. I understand yeah. where you're at. And you know what? Thank you so much for being honest. Um, but how was the user experience? You have yeah. fun on there or what? Yeah, it's okay. It was good. It was good. Thanks. Your name, your uh, name Nick, was what again? Nick Moretti. Oh, Nick yeah. Moretti, Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Italian, right? Are you Italian too? Where do you live up there? Yeah, I live do you live up there? In... So I, I, I sorry, sorry I was where? Born in, like I, I, I lived in Pickering. I grew up in Pickering, and I live in Clarington, so like Bowmanville area, Cur Curtis. You know? Oh, okay. yeah. Right, right, so, right. um, so yeah. So I'm at Victoria. So I sold my, I sold my, uh, <laughs> I sold my, I had a townhouse at Victoria Park in New York Mills, mm -hmm. 4144 area there. In there and uh, whatever, you know what? I, I tried to, uh, I tried to put it low and I kind of got shafted. But anyway, I, I, I lived at 7.99. I was hoping to get, I don't know, whatever, 8.10, yeah. 8.20, if it was dreaming. Anyway, <laughs> and I, so I ended up with one offer, uh, maybe a few showings. Oh, oh, I mean, so I ended up with one offer. Cool. I got seven seventy seven. Good job, man. Hey, I think the market's I mean, shifting right I mean, now. I guess it's good, but I think. So it's yeah, good I know. you got an offer and you got it done because some so of are not getting in. So good job on that, you know. Okay, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But so uh, I wish the market in uh, you know in Pickering Ajax or, or Whitby. You gotta get it now because it's gonna go up more. Would lighten up a bit, but. It's going to go up more. Remember, think? in the GTA, Durham region is it's, it, you know has the most value, meaning the less you know you can get more bang for your buck because everywhere is you know one point one, one point two, right? So right, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what, Joe? Let me know if you need anything at all. But thank you so yeah. much. I hope you have an awesome day, and congrats again on the sale of your home. And thank you know you what? Yeah, you know every all the best on the buy. If you need a second opinion, I'm always here. Okay. Thanks My so pleasure. Lot, thank care. you very much. Bye. Thank you. Okay, bye -bye. Sorry, that guy would have talked to me forever, right? And like, obviously, that's going nowhere. And like, I got to make some leads. Yeah. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> He's uh, definitely willing to chat. That's for sure. He liked me though, because he knew it was an Italian. I'm sure he was Italian. I can't see his last name on Twitter. I'm interested. He's open. So he sees it. Plus, he's getting hard. it for free. Yeah. So yeah, I don't he's know. getting well. Wow. Uh, well, obviously he's not buying. He's not paying a commission on that for sure. But no. uh, I mean, just to deal with your family members for nothing. I mean, like you know, sometimes craziness happens. Yeah. I mean, I love my family members. You know, what I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, I guess he's 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 doing it at a almost free. Yeah. So it's uh, definitely insane. Probably because she knew she was going to get the buying side of it anyway, right? So. Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't matter. But good on her. Everything worked out. Everything was good. good. Um. Sorry. I'm just going to go to the next one. My apologies. I'm a little slow. I'm just trying to make sure because I'm showing everyone how to use this, right? Like, so what I'm doing is I'm going on here. I've created so many filters as everyone could see. So WWAR is basically, you know, like working with a realtor, right? So I put that there and that's it. And then I put this to uh, made contact, but I know where he stands. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's super easy. Does anyone have any questions about that or not really? Pretty simple. Yeah, everyone has, I always say with the filters and tags, or the tags rather, um, name them what's going to be most for effective for yourself, right? We have our sample tags, let, tag list nonetheless, but really it comes down at the end of the day, how are you going to recollect that and, and totally. remember that and utilize it? Totally. All right, let's get this. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. 9054414189 is not available. At the tone, please record your message. 
To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Olivia. Hope you're doing well. It's Nick Moretti calling. I just wanted to thank you again for coming on to my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just want to make sure that I'm sending you homes that you do want to see. My number is 416-559-5301. And I look forward to chatting with you. And I look forward to sending you listings that you do want to see. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. One down, 255 to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's it's, go. It's the uh, nature of the game. Let's keep going. It's what it is, man. Let's play away. And this is the best. You just keep going, keep going. Next thing you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. What are you doing? And you kind of anticipate and time flies. Like it does. Like it just all of a sudden, it's like 30 minutes later. You're like, where did that happen? You have reached the voice mailbox of Clarice Kelly. Hey Clarice, it's Nick Moretti calling. I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to reach out just to thank you again for coming onto my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just want to make sure with the inventory that's coming out, there's a little bit more options and I want to send you homes that you do want to see. My number is 416-559-5301 and I look forward to chatting with you and enjoy this beautiful weather. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. I just like play around with stuff, you know? No, absolutely. You can't seem like a robot, you're human, so. Right. It's sunny. I have a window here. Chill. Enjoy the weather. Hey, is Cheryl Hello? available? Is Cheryl Pardon? available? Hey, Cheryl, how Cheryl. you doing? That's good. I'm this good, is actually thanks. Nick Moretti calling. And I just wanted to reach out just to thank you uh, again for using my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just wanted to make sure you found what you were looking for. Um, did you have a good user experience? You know, were you able to find the homes that you were looking for? I. Well, I was actually just looking for my son, actually. I was just looking to see what was available, yeah. that's all. I already yeah, have no, a I totally son. understand, you know. Um, okay, is, I said I totally Pardon? understand, you know. Um, is your son looking in a specific area? Sorry, I, you're cutting off. I'm actually in the car and I'm in the country, so my phone doesn't work. Yeah, no problem. Uh, can you hear me now or no? All right. You just hung up on me, whatever. <laughs> well, she's looking for someone else, needless to say. But now you know she's looking for someone else, right? We have yeah. notes, so when we call, she's looking for a son. Feel free to pass that on to my son or his son. That's sort of thing. All right, I'm just writing everything. The, the, the money is in your notes. Absolutely, it is. So I would just put for the people who can't see it, I just said like, you know, she was looking for a son, she was in the country and hung up, bad reception. Does anyone have any or is it just pretty standard? Sorry? Does anyone have any questions at all or? No, uh, no one's, everyone's pretty quiet today. So it seems, okay. just taking everything in. For the most part, anyway. Bonjour, vous êtes bien chez Angèle et Jacques Pinel. Nous sommes dans l'impossibilité de prendre votre appel. Sorry, I just have to. Okay. Yeah, we 
we do have a question from Nick. Uh, is asking, what is the best time to call a lead? Um, really, <laughs> um, it really depends. I think at the end of the day, whenever you have time, just call. Um, I like calling in the morning, though. I find that I get a little bit better results. Because in the afternoon, especially if it's a sunny day, like people are doing their own thing. It's usually at the earliest opportunity that you can. Um, and ultimately, you, you will want to switch up your calling time. So never always at the same time. So if you notice your leads, it'll always tell you what time your leads registered at, which means that every single one of your leads has different schedules. Right. So it's making sure that you're kind of calling different times because certain people are going to never be available if you're always calling at 10 every morning or if you're always calling at two in the afternoon. Um, sometimes where you can catch people, you know, is within the commute. So morning commute times, lunch breaks and the afternoon commutes home. That's generally where you can. Um, generally speaking, it's, you know, in the evening. I hate answering calls that I don't know personally after, you know, dinner, or if I'm busy with the family, like it's, it's not something that I'm going to like, if I know who it is, I'll answer. If I don't know who it is, then I usually screen that call. Um, none the, nonetheless, I'm sure many of you kind of have similar things. Um, and let's just see, there's another question. So Nikki is asking Nick, how long have you had the lead gen website and what is your budget with Google ads to get all these leads? Okay, so my personal, when I started or what I'm doing now, I mean, I can give you both. So yeah. um, I've been doing agent located for maybe three, four years. Um, I was on a team prior to this um, that had the service and you know I just mastered it. Um, my budget when I started was 250. I think that's the minimum um, anyone can do, right, Crystal? Uh, 200 is the 200. bare minimum. Yeah. yeah. So that was in May of last year, and now I'm up to 700 ad budget a month. So my, you know, to be successful in any business, you need a bunch of leads coming in. So as soon as you start, like, actually, I think, Crystal, uh, you told me this, or one of their reps, um, and all their reps that take care of me, or, I mean, have, I always had conversations with, they've always given me the best advice. So one of the best advice and a little secret is every time you do a deal from agent locator, put a hundred or $200 in, you know, and like next thing you know, you'll be that thousand. And now you have like so many leads coming in. Right. And then you don't get overwhelmed with the phone calls because you're like a robot and you're doing it day in, day out. And all you want is more and more and more and more. So, mm -hmm. um, um, so I hope that answers it. Yeah. And then uh, Charles is asking, what's a good comeback to keep a conversation going if a lead says wrong number and you think it's a dodge? Um, okay, so, hey, Crystal, I, uh, are you sure? Like, I mean, this is the number and if you don't mind, what's your email? I mean, they're gonna hang up on you. If they don't wanna talk to you, they won't talk yeah, to you. Yeah, they right? don't wanna talk to you. You confirm the email. So I just wanna confirm then is this, is, I've been sending some emails over to da 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 da. Um, is would that happen to be your email address? And if they they say that it is, then that's a good chance that you know they're they're not being very honest. But with you. but you don't really too, want to continue to engage with a lead that obviously doesn't have any interest in talking to you. Um, mark their number as invalid. If it's that person again, they're going to be prompted when they go to the website to give you a valid phone number, and you'll be able to see if they entered the exact same phone number in again. Exactly. I was going to say too, like, um, I'll ask them, is there anyone else in your household that's named this? <laughs> like yeah. I have, Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. ended up being the daughter or whatever, but I mean, yeah. So it, it's, it's different. Um, yeah. and another question is how many for you, Nick, um, how many other lead pillars do you have or had in the first few years? I have like, so I have two grinding the pavement and then three back. So the two grinding the pavement, obviously pre-COVID was door knocking and bank days. And then my three uh, kind of passive pillars is social media, uh, spheres of influence, I mean, referrals, and I guess agent locator, so four. What are, what are bank days? I know someone's asked that before. What do you, what do you- Yeah, so bank, bank days, days is uh, when I would go to a bank and I would just set up a little like station and oh, okay. I would, you know, have a prize and, you know, the money is in talking to the mortgage brokers there, not really the people. If you scoop people, great, but 
you know, I did this really well and I have mortgage agents that still send me deals whenever it comes across your desk. Yeah. That's, you got to work smart, not hard. If you call, do you, Nick, do you do calling on the weekend? Yep. I call every day. Do you find that it, it, like mornings, for example, on a weekend is better to catch someone than it is in the afternoon or evening? Honestly, it depends. Yeah. I say that if you're calling someone, try calling that person at the same time, whatever. If not, then you start like trying a little bit different. But that's where I think the e-campaigns that you guys can set up is powerful because it does the automation follow-up for you. Mm -hmm. Right? Like uh, most of mine already have that. So these people on these new, like need to contact, most of them are already kind of on that e-campaign and they're already getting it. Because if you look on my thing, like, look, there's already six text messages. See? Like, I mean, yeah. the first one's you guys or whatever, right? But yeah. all these other ones I've set yeah, up. Yeah, you guys right? can so, definitely build out campaigns with your SMSs uh, to help you with those follow-ups. Again, I don't suggest leaning solely on an SMS campaign. They should complement yeah. the manual efforts you're calling as well. Um, I agree with that. It, I try definitely definitely helps with, you know, getting people to respond to an SMS and, and just keeping in mind when you're building those kind of follow-up campaigns, you generally want them to be short and sweet and to the point, whether it's an email or SMS. And as well, um, they progressively get further and further apart, right? So you have the first two messages that are a day apart, then you wait two days and you wait four exactly. days then you wait six days and you wait 10 days and you wait, you know, so it's, and then you can go back to four days. Like it's just, it's, it's you don't want to just be hammering someone. Um, needless to say, it's just giving time, but it also gives you time to be calling that person in between those messages as well. Okay. Um, Janita is asking if you're cold calling without mentioning that you got their info from browsing on a website, how would you introduce yourself? So let me read this question. Um, so it's basically not mentioning that they came to your website. So, uh, so basically I have had people where it's like, who, how, like that kind of question. Like, how do they register something like that, Crystal? Well, I think it's more of like, because you, when you're calling your leads, you're like, hey, it's Nick Moriarty. Uh, you register on my website, well, whatever it's called. Um, just curious if you found your way okay. Um, that sort of thing. So how would you do it if you weren't mentioning your website? You get what I'm saying? I mean, why, yeah, I hear you. It's yeah. a little bit harder because like, I mean, at the end of the day, you have to break it down, right? Like why, how did you get their information? Like if I'm going to answer a phone call, they right, know how I want to know. Their, I'm going to say 95% of these people know how you got their information. They're right. All... So I mean, like, I mean, at the end of the day, you can just go, Hey, Hey, Crystal, hope you're doing well. It's actually Nick Moretti calling. I just want to uh, just say, Hey, and uh, I just, I guess it's really hard. I guess my script is no, built around that, <laughs> but not really like, oh, hold on. I just have to take a second. I would just say, Hey, Crystal, how you doing? It's actually Nick Moretti calling. Um, you know, I sent you a list of homes um, to your email. Did you happen to get them? Like you, you know, can go somewhere like that. There is that. Yeah, absolutely. You can also go to exactly what they were doing. It can be like, hey, Nick, you know, hey, it's Crystal. I just noticed you were online checking out some real estate listings in the Clarington area. So crazy. Just curious, were you able to find everything you were looking for out there? Right. A lot of people, they, they won't always recognize a website domain or where you work or a name, but they always will remember what they were doing in an essence of real estate listings. Because in that case, it could be real estate listings that Nick's sending them. They could also be getting listings from three other agents at the same time. So they know that they were online looking at listings. Um, so if you're exactly. not in the website, it's, it's not a big deal. But at the end of the call, that's where you want to point it out. So you're getting listings. So are you receiving the listings? They're coming from Nick Moretti. Remember those ones? Awesome. So I've updated your criteria, however that went. You know, that's the only email you need. I'm going to follow up with you um, and blah, blah, blah. However you, you carry on that conversation. Moving forward. Totally. Um, mm, 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 mm. I find the way that I do it. I mean, like, it's not just because I do it, like no way, but I, I just think that at the end of the day, it's, it's a really good script because people yeah. know, people want to know, like, why are you calling me? How'd you get my number? And what do you want? Yeah. I answered that well, in like people, 30 seconds. Like, yeah. It really depends too on the, the person on the other <clears throat> end, 100%. And there is kind of probably like two angles on this. 
some people, when you're calling and you're saying who you are and where you work and where are they registered, that's what they're, they're like, who, what, where, what? Um, whereas, you know, you're getting to the, you want to get to the purpose of the call. 100%. Calling, right. So it's trying to get through all of that. If, if it's too much of a mouthful for you to spit out, you should probably learn it, cutting it back. <laughs> um, totally. they're just like, but everyone's different though. Like I yeah. talk fast. Yeah. I try to talk slow, but it's just, this is who I am. Like be yeah. authentic to whoever you are. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So I guess we um, keep going or yeah do do? so Nick is just asking though do you call by yourself or do you have someone filter if too many no I call by myself the reason being is because um I'm I I know my scripts <clears throat> I call five people and I will get something out of it and not and like that's the thing like if I get someone to call my leads right now especially all these people that I've talked to like or tried to talk to but at least they've heard my voice or email or text message somewhere I mean, maybe I'm just a control freak, but right now, since it's only me, I don't have any, you know, me and me and an assistant, that's it, you know? So I'm doing this myself, but it forces me to get into the habit of the lead gen, you know? It does. It really, you know, how I, I kind of put things is like when you guys are first starting off, 30 minutes is all you need, 100%. As you progressively start gaining more and more leads, you need to keep expanding that time to accommodate the new leads that you guys generate really should only take about 15 minutes of your time a day when doing your converting um, because they're really only the leads that registered within the last 14 days at that point. And then that gives you the rest of your time where you're nurturing all the leads that you've already made connections with and doing those follow-ups because that's where your money's at. That's where you're going to gain success is in those follow -ups. But you can't leave the new leads hanging. We have to get them. We got to figure out where they're at in the process so we know how to follow up with them. I would say if you have a preference, unless you have an appointment that you set with a, with a lead pre previously, always go for the new appointments and then call your, your clients that you already talked to. Because mm -hmm. like those people already know who you are, whatever, whatever, right? Yeah. Unless you promise to call them back. You betcha. So I can call this person. I usually call some unsubscribed leads when they've unsubscribed to my email and especially a reason like this, like not ready to make a purchase. Like, cool, no problem. I understand, you know? Yeah. So I'll just do that. I'm just trying to see. I don't think it says voicemail. She never responded to me and stuff. But she's been looking. In progress. Let's see if I get hung up on. I'm just kidding. Hello. Hey, is it Susan? It is. Hey, Susan, how you doing? I'm good. This is actually a Nick Moretti calling. Um, I just was calling because I just saw that you unsubscribed um, from my list, which is totally cool. Um, but you were just saying you're not ready to make a purchase, which I totally understand. Um, I understand yeah. that real estate takes three to 18 months. Um, so like, I'm not here to sell you on anything. I just want to make sure while you're in the information stage or window shopping that I'm just showing you the homes that you want to see, you know what I mean? To help you in your information stage. Right. So, I mean, is there an area that you were looking at? Um, not really. I'm just kind of doing a general look, see. Sure. Sure. When you entered my, when you came onto my website, I'm already real estate.com, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, my, I strive for you to have a great user experience. That's why I'm just reaching out. Um, you saw that you yes. just put in Bowmanville. So did you want me to expand on that? Uh, no, I'm, I think I'm just happy to look around on my own at this point. Okay. I totally understand. Like I, probably, I probably am a year or two away from buying. So, and oh, the I market rate, yeah, the market right now is a bit too high for me totally understand it and, and like i said that's why i just want to just give you that window shopping information like i can send you something once yeah. a week it's it's no sweat off my back by the way you know what i mean 
Um, and yeah. I'm not going to bother you, by the way. I just want to make sure I'm just sending you that listing because no matter what, no matter on any other website, you're going to be putting their information in. So you're going to get more people mm -hmm. calling you, right? So, I mean, I right. know where you are. I understand. I'm not really going to bother you. I'm just going to just always make sure your search is okay. That's it. Okay. Well, it is, and thank you so much. Okay, perfect. I'll continue that, and let me know if you need anything at all, okay? I will. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye. -bye. That was a hard one, guys. That was a hard one. <laughs> but I got in. And she's a year or two out, so it's, it's not. No, and she's like an older person, so she just doesn't want to talk to people yet. They want to do their own research. But this is a good foot in the door, I promise you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely take her off my campaign over here. And I will resume this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking her off the e-campaign and then I'm just resuming her email because she told me that it was okay. Okay. Right? I'm not breaking any laws. Right, Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> I do not work for the CRTRC, unfortunately. Yeah, but she said it was okay in that phone call. She said no problem. It's really hard to see who I need to call and what I've said without when the things are blurred out, you know? Mm. I hope you guys are enjoying this call. I know it seems like a little bit like whatever, but I mean, this is, this is the real stuff. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. Six four seven five four nine nine zero oh, eight seven is not available. At the tone, please record your message. To leave a callback number, press five. Hey Steph, hope you're doing well. It's Nick Moretti calling. I just actually want to reach out just to thank you again for using my website on MorettiRealEstate.com. And I just want to make sure um, with the inventory increasing that I do send you homes that you do want to see. Uh, my number is 416-559-5301. And I look forward to chatting with you uh, when you're available. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. Uh, to answer that question, Wade, I think it does, no? Yeah. So if they unsubscribe, it automatically stops the listing, stops every campaign. Nick, I don't know if you, I had the chat box. So I can't really see what you're doing in the dashboard. So he, he may have just done a double check to make sure that that campaign will stay stopped if you resubscribe yes. that because we don't want that campaign to go out if he resubscribed her. Okay, sorry, she, this person has been looking at my email. I think what, how, how many calls have we done? Like at least 20? I can tell you, I'm gonna keep it trapped. I didn't look to see how many leads you started with in that dashboard. So yes, Jen, we do both buyer and seller. I don't know if Nick does. You have reached the voicemail box of... 
Hey, Good Paula. Again. Hope you're doing well. It's Nick Moretti calling. I just wanted to uh, say thanks again for using my website on MorettiRealEstate.com. And I just want to make sure um, to see if you have any questions or send you new listings that you do want to see. My number is 416-559-5301. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. Nick, you're only doing buyer leads or do you do sellers as well? I only do buyers right now, but, but buyers are good because usually you have to sell. So I had a listing that sold in February because of that. Mm -hmm. um, I have another one coming up because of that. There's a lot of buyers that need to sell. So yeah. Don't let it deter you. You just got to ask the questions. I find that your, your sellers are already a buyer in somebody else's desk. Yes. Because remember in this market, most people need to buy first to feel comfortable to sell. That's important. But also people who are like a year or two out, they're looking at listings before they're actually requesting any kind of home evaluation, right? So 100%, 100%. you will get the odd one that doesn't. They wait for a 100% direction from their trusted realtor, but <laughs> most take it upon themselves. to talk to me today. Hey there, we've sent your call to our voice message system, 6476177077 isn't available right now. When you hear the beep, record your message. Hey Levy, hope you're doing well. It's Nick Moretti calling. I just wanted to reach out just to see how that list of homes is going for you. Um, there has been new inventory happening, so let me know what your updated criteria is and I can definitely send you an updated list right away. Take care and have an awesome day. Oh, I, hang, I hung up way before. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. My finger was right on it. No. Yeah, it's weird. The delay is, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're cutting people off or the call, like you'll hang up, but then we hear that thing after. And yeah, it's just odd. Yeah, no worries. Okay, a couple more calls, I guess. Yeah, we'll do a couple more and then we'll, we shall see. The problem is I can't see their email. Mm -hmm. So I can't, so I'll just wait till. Yeah, if they have an invalid and you want to confirm their email, then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really do that. See, and this is what's awesome. Look, she put probably a fake number, but she just verified it with your pin. So then the number changed to valid yeah. because she was marked as a bad info. That's why you can't give up on people. And like people who are searching, they need help. Like I really believe that. They what? They need my help. Yeah. Well, they do. They absolutely need your help. They, need, they can do it all on their own until a certain extent. Then they need your help. So that's their mindset, right? That's why they don't want to talk to you. I can I can look for listings. I don't need you. You have reached the voice mailbox of Ashley. Hey, Ashley, hope you're doing well. It's actually Nick Moretti calling. I just wanted to call it to thank you so much for coming onto my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just want to make sure you're able to find the home that you were looking for. My number is 416-559-5301. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Uh, feel free to call or text me whichever is available for you when you're available. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye. I mean, that was horrible at the end, but YOLO.
Hey, is this Amy? Hello? Hey, Amy, how you doing? Yes. I'm good, I'm good. good this how is are actually you? Nick Moretti calling. Uh, I actually wanted to reach out to thank you so much for coming on to my website on morettirealestate.com. And I just wanted to make sure, you, yeah, and I no just wanted problem. to make sure you had a great user experience. Were you able to find the homes that you were looking for? Uh, no, I was just I was just browsing around. My daughter was interested in maybe looking for uh, early development, like, a like condo okay. phase. Yeah, like con like a condo phase, like sure. first phase. So we were doing some research around, and we haven't really gotten any further with it because she's still in university. So just it was to something put in her ear just to see what's going on, right, and and see kind of what's going on. Yeah, and yeah, that's. That's kind of where she was at. But we had, do have a family real estate agent in, the, in our family. I would have to go, so I, I wouldn't want to waste your time. I but that's, we were just, I must have just clicked on something that had your name on it and went on to your site for some house that we were looking at. Or yeah, condo no, or I something. totally appreciate the honesty and all that stuff. So thank you so much. Um, I think at the end of the day, you know, feel free to always use my website. I mean, I understand that you have someone else, so that's totally cool. But wherever else you go, they're going to tell you to put their info on. So, I mean, you know, feel free. I know where we're at and all that stuff. So, you know, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, Perfect. Um, if there's anything no I can do to help, just let me know, okay? Okay. You Perfect. Too. Thanks. Bye. Have a good one. Okay. Yeah. So she's working with another person. Like, it's not happening. But I mean, like, at the end of the day, see, like, a lot of people give up. I uh, I just keep going. I want to know what the reason is. I don't want to just a generic reason. Yeah. So. And you know what, guys? It's okay if they say no. That's one less person you can stop following up with and put your time into something else. Absolutely. Who actually, who actually want to work with you. And they have a family realtor, right? And and it depends how many times these people have, is it somebody in their family or is it a friend of the family? But I always sure. say if somebody indicates that they have an agent again, you could always she's indicated Second that even in. soft touches, like every 30 days, only if they're active. You know, hey, just want to make sure you're still finding the listings okay. You know, that's it. You know, it's it's not intrusive, it's just letting them know you're still around. And then you never totally. know, their, their so-called family realtor, you know, isn't even doing anything. There is no follow-up, there's no touch base, they've kind of dropped the ball, things like that. So there's all different scenarios. You never know where your next business is going to come from. It can come from the most unlikely, you know, expected place. Exactly. And you never know who's going to refer you. No, absolutely. You know, they can say, this person's great. Like, we, you know, they were checking in on us, making sure we were doing okay blah, 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 whatever it may be, right? So I've had an agent locator lead that didn't use me because of the family stuff, yeah. but then she referred me to someone else. Okay. So just gives good service. Just be upfront, honest with people. Don't waste people's time. Just give them the straight facts. Don't fill it with BS. No, that's it. sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> so I think that's it. It's three or? That is it. That is it, my friend. Yes. Perfect. We will. Um, Does anyone have any questions at all, or? Yeah, before we all? hang up here, anyone have anything that you want to ask quickly? My pleasure, Joe. Thank you for um, everyone coming on. Yeah, what's your closing rate? Nick is asking. So, what's your out of two hundred fifty leads? What's your conversion? Well, last year you did eight deals, right? I did nine. I'm already two deals this year. Plus, I have a lot of other things coming out from this. So yeah. I would say that I'll be at, like, at least, because I have what? Let's say I have just under 1,000 leads. I've closed, what, 11 deals, let's say. So maybe 10%, mm -hmm. 11%. Yeah. No. Is that right or wrong? That's 1%. That's 1.1% 1 .1 or 1. Oh, that's 1%. 1.1%. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. okay. So, yeah. Don't <laughs> so don't worry about like that. 11% is like, holy smokes, you are like... Killing it, Robot. but they're coming though, right? <laughs> like that's the thing though, right? They're, yeah. they're coming though, because it takes, it takes time to build these relationships. And once yeah. people, you know, you touch base with them five to eight times, you've locked them down. Yeah. It's, it's so it's just like, it's I don't really know. I don't really know because I have a lot of things coming out from it, but mm -hmm. I would say at least 3% at least. 
Yeah, you're, you're going to on average. So if you just consistently follow up with your leads, your conversion rate should sit ideally at about one and a half percent. So it's just being patient. Your, your transactions aren't going to come right away. So keeping in mind that this is your future business, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, two years down the road. And if you're okay with that, the results you're going to see are way better than if you're anxious to make a deal right now with every person you're contacting, um, you're just going to get frustrated and you know, you're, you, you just start blaming everything, but looking at the mirror. <laughs> so totally, totally, totally. It's just the nature of the game. So just patience and, and just consistency. If you're consistent, that's where you're going to get the business. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you get at it, you find your groove and your rhythm, you get in, you get out, you carry on with your day and you make some money while you're doing it. Um, let's just see, there's probably, okay. And uh, there we are, Jill, wish you used AL sooner when you're as a realtor, hey. You know, it's never but too you're late. on there now. And never too late. Yeah, I found Agent Locator after I went from a solo agent onto a team when I, back when, way, way back when. And I was like, why did I not know this? Because I was very ambitious. I'd post ads, I would get things and like, geez, if I had a system that could actually <laughs> do a bunch of this stuff, it's like I would have nailed it. But uh, I didn't have that system when I was solo, unfortunately. So, um, but yeah. Perfect. Cool. So thank you everyone. Thank you so thank much. You, Nick. Um, again, you guys busy. send an email over if you do definitely want to be part of this and have Nick try to reach out to some of your leads for you. Um, but yeah, we will see you all in a couple of weeks and sure. uh, we'll go from there. For sure. Thanks everyone. And if you guys want any questions or anything about Agent Locator, just Moretti Real Estate on Facebook, Instagram, just reach out. Right. But enjoy this beautiful weather, you yeah. know, we're not locked inside so much anymore. There but, you go. Um, have a great day, everyone. <laughs> you as well. Thanks, everyone. Okay, bye. Bye.